you need to always remember that phrase that says you cannot keep doing something the same way over and over again and expect a different result hi babe welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is Ibidunio Shaw and I'm a media personality and creative currently based in Lagos Nigeria and I'd love for you to become one of my babes on this channel all you have to do is hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications beside it so that you can know when a new video goes live. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about essentially how to reinvent yourself, becoming your best version of you, the best version of her, you know, somebody that you aspire to be, essentially just seeing how you can get from where you are right now to where you want to be as a woman in your highest vision of you. So in my humble opinion, right, the subject of reinventing, like when people say reinventing yourself, I feel like um, when everybody uses that word, we sort of make it seem like it's such a grand big deal and I would just firstly like to say that I don't think it is and here's why I'm saying this life is in seasons right and we have all gone through certain stages in our lives that have caused certain changes you know for example when you're single there's a different way you are than when you're in a relationship it's almost the same thing as when you become a mother when you become a wife you know when you're in a higher position at work and you have to improve yourself improve your dressing improve the manner with which you talk improve your leadership skills that those stages that you go through those things that you do in order to you know settle into those new positions that you're in in life that is actually you reinventing yourself without you necessarily needing to set out to reinvent yourself now as a lady in her early 20s late 20s or even early or late 30s i have this opinion and the opinion essentially is if you're hungry for a higher degree than what you are right now than where you are right now in life change is something that needs to happen you need to always remember that phrase that says you cannot keep doing something the same way over and over again and expect a different result now the first tip i'd give is that you need to give yourself the permission to reinvent yourself so i'd like to explain this as when change is intrusive right to your mind to your body to your spirit there's a shock it's like you're sleeping let me use this african African mom example right you're sleeping as an African child and in the middle of your sleep your mom just throws water on you you're going to wake up you know like scared I'm like oh what's going on what's going on until you now realize oh they're trying to wake me up right to start my day as compared to when your mom actually taps you and then that tap gets to you in your sleep and then you actually wake up that means that you need to allow yourself the space for the change that is coming ahead of you so the next thing for you after of course you know allowing yourself the space for this change is to determine what this reinvented version of you looks like and the way for you to be able to answer that is asking yourself a couple of questions like who is your she in order for you to answer this you can take a look at maybe people that inspire you career wise or like with the kind of life they live if it's a, a public figure even if it's just like your auntie that you're close to and you appreciate the value of life that she's currently living and she's somebody that you try to be like that is who your she is like what is she like so what does she smell like what does she look like how does she dress how does she address herself how does she speak what type of nails does she do how does she smell you know what type of hair does she do these things even though they may seem minute to some people these are the things that make that give you a clearer sense of self and another question to ask yourself is what is the difference between you now and you that you're are, you know dreaming to be you have to do like a very holistic right and very truthful to self review of where you are right now so where you are mentally where you are financially where you are emotionally psychologically even physically health wise something else I need to say is that I honestly do not think that this is an overnight journey we're constantly reinventing ourselves it's just that for some people it takes realization they get to the point where they just realize oh my god I I haven't been the highest version of what I can be 
right and then they gradually do you know answer the next set of questions oh what am i trying to be like who am i trying to be like how how am i supposed to be because when you're able to answer those questions they help you dream everybody says oh like i like daydreaming oh my god i'm always daydreaming you see that daydream that you're dreaming that's your heart the kind of car that she's driving in the daydream the kind of clothes she wears in your daydream those are the things that you are going towards so if you're able to answer those questions those will help you determine the kind of woman you are trying to grow into becoming now moving forward the next thing is to find this may sound a bit controversial okay but the next tip is for you to find the eek about yourself find the eek about that thing that you're trying to change right now and use that as a force to propel yourself forward usually it's maybe something that embarrasses you doesn't exactly make you proud of yourself address that eek not in a lingering toxic way where you're not able to move out of it but in a way where you're like okay let's see my days usually don't go in the flow that i want them to go why does that happen the eek is that i don't sleep early so of course i wake up late and then when i wake up i I have messages to respond to i have tons of things to do so that eek is what is the thing that i do that makes me sleep late at night okay i'm going to focus on that thing make sure that that's the thing when i remember when i'm watching movies when i'm doing netflix and chill right at 9 p.m at 10 p.m at night i remind myself that if i continue doing this i am not going to get to where i'm trying to get to that naturally okay it should push you it should propel you it should remind you of where you're going of what your goal is of who you're trying to be i'm just gonna go do the work you know i'm just going to stay up at night and read what i need to read the self-improvement books the money management books the everything that i need to do that is going to push me just an inch closer just a step closer to where i'm trying to be in life to who i'm trying to be in life i will focus on that e so that it can propel me to face my vision the next thing to ask yourself is what are the actionable steps that i need to take that will get me to where i'm going to so for this what i would advise is that you do a brainstorming session and you don't have to do this in one day take your time of course don't take too much time give yourself like a time frame in order for you to get it done so give yourself like a week give yourself like two weeks to brainstorm on what are the things that i can try to do to help me get closer to where i'm get where i'm trying to go you know to where my destination is so for some of us it may be oh i need to follow it i have to strictly follow a morning routine for some people is i have to do a to-do list every day you know before i set it into my day before i do anything in the day i need to set up a to-do list for example i use notion right i've been using notion for quite a while now if you want me to by the way maybe share my notion template with you or or take you through my notion but please let me know in the comments below but essentially right I've been using notion for a while and what that has helped me do is I have toured with a type of morning routine that I realized didn't work for me and I have gone through the stage right and now i'm in a place where i have a morning routine that actually really works for me gets the best out of my morning i wake up in time you know i'm able to get a number of very you know reward worthy things done you know right before i start the work for the day and even when i'm about to start the work for the day i set up my to-do list or oh, what are the things that i must do today what are the things that i might do today that if i don't do them you know they don't affect what i'm where i'm trying to go to immediately now the thing is if you work with notion right or even generally any planner app the best or the easiest way or the most i don't know if the word is checkable way to go about it is before you set up your to-do list for every week or every day you can choose to go through your goals for the month so another thing you can do you know with your actionable steps is actually set yourself monthly goals so a lot of people i feel like a lot of us set yearly goals and at some point tons of people fall off right sometimes it's not they didn't fall off because they are not consistent sometimes they fall off out of fear they fall off because they don't remember to check in with themselves right so a way to check in with yourself consistently is that every week if you're a to-do list person which i advise that you should be you know every week cross check your goals for the year cross check your goals for that month what is the one action that i can fix into this week again that will draw me closer to my plan what's the other action i can fix into tuesday 
Monday into Thursday that will draw me closer to my plan and I think that this is why the whole idea of the um 12 week year has sort of like gone really viral because a lot of people have not realized oh okay so the thing is I want I set my yearly goals but how about I push them forward into a three month you know deadline where it's like I want to aim at achieving these things in the next three months so if I'm going to if I'm going to get 20k subscribers at the end of this year right how many subscribers can I aim for every three months because we have four quarters in a year right so how many subscribers can I aim for every three months that would get me to that 20k mark so by the end of the first quarter if you get to the goal that you set for the first three months then you know okay good I'm on track if you are lesser then you know okay you have to put in more work see what you did wrong right and then see what you can do to improve it the following month or the following three months and and so on and so forth it's the same thing as if you go beyond your mark for the first three months you know great I have some time to even get more or relax or take a breather off of YouTube or you know just take a breathing space somewhere in the process of creation and I also think that this even applies for people even outside of creatives so the next tip is to put pen to paper so for this what I mean is it goes beyond just oh these are the goals for the year I'm saying literally write out your vision for your life your mission right for your life where you see yourself where you're going to something interesting that you can also do is make it legal so what I mean by that is for example I realized with myself when I was heavily in the nine to five work frame I like to give my best right I don't want to be the one that was not found doing what she's supposed to do I have to do this because I signed a contract that I need to do this so you could also do that with yourself you know contract between you and you okay and then by the end of that three months or the end of that whole year you look back at it and say in what ways did I fail myself do a holistic report so I don't think it's everything that people fail a lot of things too people actually do really well and I feel like a lot of us always tend to focus on what we didn't do great you know instead of what we actually did really well on what we should be really proud of ourselves for so the next tip that I have is to do it for yourself do it for you show up for you dress up for you wake up every day like even if you work from home wake up every day for you bath brush your teeth get a cup of tea get a cup of coffee do it for you don't do it for to come back to YouTube and give your yearly feedback don't do it to check back with your accountability partner to do your feedback do it to remember that oh I, I cannot afford to rely on motivation I have to rely on consistency and discipline and that's like one of the one of the harsh truths I found out or I got to realize somewhere in 2022 and that truth was a number of times I relied on motivation my feelings so what I mean what I mean by motivation is my feelings oh how am I feeling today oh I don't feel like creating content oh I don't feel like editing oh I don't feel I'm not feeling good of course as creatives there are times that we get there but it's like discipline is very key because if you don't discipline yourself if you don't remember that that if you like if I don't do this I'm going to fail at my goals I'm going to fail at the things that are the most important to me if you don't remember that consistency beats motivation there will be a lot of times that you would just not feel like it you know and the rest of the world will go on and you will be just where you were the month before so the next tip I have is don't be afraid to focus on your strengths and don't be afraid to say your name. I very recently realized that when I say my name to myself, I actually feel good. So you know how you feel when somebody calls your name? There's a sense in your mind that is awake. That feeling, you can give yourself that feeling and get yourself to get up and do what you need to do. So I do that to myself sometimes. When like I'm not in the mood feelings, right? When I'm not exactly motivated to do what I need to do. I literally just go a bit on your show. I'm feeling so good in my head right now. I literally just go a bit on your show. You need to stand up and do what you need to do. Sometimes I call my full name. But the next tip is do not be afraid to do it again, right? I know you hear a lot of people say, oh, don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid to do it again. That's what I'll say. You may need to adjust certain things in that your first document, you know, to improve and adjust on so that it will help you get to where you're trying to get to now. If you adjust that and then you fail another time, you look back, do a holistic report and then you do it again. That is you disciplining yourself. That is how you're going to be able to pass something down to your kids 
to your nieces and your nephews and then they see you and they're like oh my god i want to be like this person this person has gotten themselves to the point where they're able to win themselves of something and they're also able to release themselves and allow themselves to do the thing or experience the thing again another thing that i definitely felt the need to add is that you also need to learn to pay it forward i honestly think that life is a journey right so as much as you dream of your higher sense of power and you want to be a higher sense of you we will always reinvent ourselves we will always aim to be better i am you know single now i'm going to aim to be better when i'm in a marriage i'm going to aim to be better when i'm a mom i mean i'm a mom already but i'm saying like when i'm a mom again you know and i'm going to have to fall into a routine that point when i'm falling into that routine is me reinventing myself so learning to pay it forward is figure out what your system is now so that when you're raising your child when you're raising your sister's son or your sister's daughter you're able to leave them something to work with you know because it i feel like it really pays when when kids come to you when younger people come to you when people that are lesser in age or like younger than you or even maybe some people that are older than you that have just seen that you've done something good for yourself when they come to you to ask you questions what you don't want to do is not be able to say oh this is the process i followed or this is what i did in order for me to get to where i am that's how you're able to even impact other people's lives that's how we're able to even cause more positive change you know in our world today so it's like remember to pay it forward and also remember that you do not respectfully owe anybody an understanding i didn't say an explanation an understanding of why you are doing what you are doing so those that have known you you know when you were younger may never grasp what you're doing they may never understand it they, they will just say that oh this person is drifting away from us some people would even mock you and say what is this one doing what does she think she's doing with her life what does he think he's doing with his life let's be looking at it y'all but it's like what you're doing does it make sense to you what you're aiming for does it make sense to you if it does and you're able to surround yourself with people that are already there or people that are also aiming to be at that place of course at like different levels that's good enough for you so of course another way to pay it forward is by liking this video so that YouTube can know that you thoroughly enjoyed it sharing it with somebody that you think it may be useful to and of course I'd like for you to become one of my babes on this channel so if you're new here don't forget to smash that subscribe button and of course turn on the notification bell right beside it so that you don't miss the next upload which will most likely be a vlog but until I see you guys in my next video I can't wait to see the comments in the comments below if it matters let me just let you know that I am rooting for you I'm rooting for the new version of you I'm rooting for the improved version of you i want the best for you and um, i'm just praying that god will give us the grace to get to where his plan and his purpose is for our lives until i see you guys in my next video remember to be good to yourself and be kind to others okay bye guys